Hi, I'm Graham, and welcome back to Man vs Film. I'm a huge horror fan, and particularly I love everything from the 80s. It was just when I get into those kind of movies, and I love the hell out of them. And when you watch them, you kind of know what you're going to get. You're going to get blood, you're going to have big hair, teens having sex, people getting murdered, decapitations, and some bad acting as well. And if you're extra lucky, some really shoddy set design and some really crappy music. But it all kind of adds to the aesthetic and it's why I love those movies so much. And there's a lot that came out at that time. And I'm still discovering things today, which is where I discovered the fantastically titled Chopping Mall. Which says everything. The alternative title for it was just as good as well. Killbots. <laughs> just, they say everything you need to know about this movie. And I love it for that. This was marketed alongside the sort of slasher movies of the 80s, but it's not really. It's more of a kind of science fiction movie. It's about a mall of the future. And the, the people in the 80s' idea of the future is terrific. Uh, terrifically plain and exactly like the 80s, only with robots kind of in it. But I enjoy that anyway. So it's about a, a mall of the future and they've gotten rid of the security force and they're replacing it with these robots that can tase people and just do the job better than any security guard, except go upstairs. Because these robots are designed like a mix between Johnny Five from Short Circuit and a Cylon from Battlestar Galactica. They don't have legs, they've got little track wheels, and uh, so pretty much if you get to a staircase, you're going to be fine. Like I said, you've got the big hair, you've got the teenagers acting wild and having sex and being punished for that, so it kind of covers the horror tropey things that you would expect from a, an 80s movie. And then it has some really crappy special effects. But I kind of liked them. For some reason, these robots can shoot lasers. The movie doesn't really explain it, and I don't really care that it doesn't either. Basically, the premise is, is that they've got this new robots in the mall, They've got like a substation up on the roof. There's a lightning strike that activates three of them and turns them into kill bots. And away we go. There's blood. There's a fantastic scene of somebody's head exploding as one of the laser beams tackles it. You've got your main girl and uh, the sort of main hero trying to build things out of various shops to fight back with, which is tremendous. It is totally 80s and it's totally great. This was a low budget thing at $800,000 and it looks it, but like I said, that kind of adds to the aesthetic of the movie. Overall, I really like Chopping Mall. I thought the acting was fine, actually better than most movies from this era. The special effects are kind of crappy, but the robots look kind of cool, extremely dated now, but they kind of have that kitsch value about them. The story is about as much as you would expect from this kind of movie. It introduces the characters, lets you know all their traits, and you can kind of guess from their traits who's going to get knocked off first. The blood and gore is fun and acceptable. The, the, the movie moves along at a quick enough pace. The characters are always talking about things while they're doing them, talking about the things that they're doing while they're doing them, which I always like in these kind of movies because it seems redundant and silly, and it is, but I like it. It just kind of pushed all my buttons for this kind of movie. I gave it 3 out of 5. If you don't like these kind of movies, if you're not from this era, you're probably going to hate it or think it's a cheap and tacky movie, the kind that Roger Corman would make. And you're probably right, but that's part of the charm of the movie. I really like Chopping Mall. I hope you like it as well if you check it out. If you do, let me know in the comment box below. And if you have the titles or any other crazy 80s slasher come horror things that you think I may want to check out, let me know in the comment box. I'm always trying to discover new movies like this to check out. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time on Man vs Film.